the way I look at it from a broader context, in 2022, our plan is to generate $45 million in revenue round numbers. We're serving industries that generally have a 25 multiple. We think out of that $45 million in revenue will generate $20 million in earnings. And you know, at a $5.5 billion share level, uh, that gets us to a $0.09 cent share price. That's the math I do for me personally when I'm thinking about this company and what we're doing moving forward. You heard him say it right there. The CEO of this $0.01 cent stock said today that they are gunning for $0.09 cent by the end of 2022, as you saw in that clip. That clip was posted today, y'all. Drop a quick like on this video and turn on the bell to get these stocks early. You'd be crazy not have the notification bell on. If you want to get them a little bit earlier and join our live event, Stock Talk with Moon, where we basically host a live event. You can see my screen. You can, we go over the week and we call out OTC stocks early. Link in the top pinned comment to join that private Discord. And for OTC stocks, click the interactive brokers link in the top pinned comment to buy or sell OTC penny stocks. Click that link, sign up, and use the Moon Moon link in the top pinned comment to get one free share of AMC if you sign up and deposit $100 on top of five extra free stocks with that link. They're running a free AMC share right now. The CEO in the beginning of that clip with the CEO of ticker CYBL currently sitting at one cent. We did get a green day today set, sitting at a $75 million market cap. The CYBL CEO just stated he pictures the company reaching up to nine cent in 2022 as their fair value from what revenue they plan in 2022. Now, is this possible? We'll go over everything you need to know and the most recent updates and stay to the end of this video for a JPEX and ILST update because everything is falling into place. JPEX is only about one cent and ILST is a double zero play. But before we get into the juice, I wanted to state it's been a long journey for CYBL. It really has. It's been a very long journey. Initially calling this at 008 on January 25th, 2021, y'all, all the way back over a year ago and making 50 to 100 video updates on this stock as it rose all the way up to 066. And at the peak, that would have been over an 8,000% gain from the start of this journey. Join the private Discord to get those calls early. And now we're all the way back down to one cent. We were all the way up at six cent at one point after running this one all the way up. And we finally started to see slight green for the past two days. And the company is much larger right now than when it was all the way up here at six cents, actually significantly larger with lots of revenue now. Let's go over the highlights of the video update from the CEO first, followed by the most recent press release. There's a lot to talk about. And it was a 10 minute video, and this is what he talked about. They're working on three deals in their pipeline. January results put us on the path to a really good 2022, aiming for 45 million revenue in 2022 and 20 million in earnings. This should stop future dilutions because of how much revenue and earnings they are getting. And it's also going to stop toxic financing. They don't do it often. They have done it recently in the past, but they're going to try and stop it all. So they're just going to continue to acquire companies from the money the company already makes. The CEO can see the nine cent price per share based off the 25 X multiples in their sector, meaning other companies in this sector trade off of a 25 times multiple based on their revenue. This is what the CEO believes to be fair value for them at the end of the year. They're planning to keep the outstanding shares at around the current level right now. This will allow organic growth in the share price because we will not experience any further dilution. Quarter three and quarter four 2022 is expected to be their best month yet. And this is where long holders will be rewarded the most this year. And this is kind of around the time frame that the CEO thinks they could end up going up to that nine cent point. Six consecutive month of revenue growth since they hired new management. For example, the chief revenue officer started in January and he has decades of experience and he's getting that revenue going for them. They have exciting advancements in their pipeline under the unmanned aerial vehicle division. They secure new contracts with partners and they will be speaking about it in the very near future. The mission to, is to drive as much market share as possible and get the company the valuation level they believe is appropriate. They're aiming for a one or two billion valuation, aka market cap. They have a phenomenal set of opportunities contracting in place for some pipeline and new partners in other areas that we'll be talking about in the next coming weeks. And they do plan a possible Q&A for next week. And we're going to get a whole lot of new information out of this. We did get a press release 
from yesterday, where they exceeded their January revenue plan by 28% to drive the company's key accomplishments for the month of January 2022. And the company exceeded its plan of 1.5 million by 28%, delivering 1.9 million in revenue for the month, 1.9 million for January. That's very impressive. And the company also realized a 13% increase in January revenue over December's record revenue. For the first time in a company history, the January revenue results in mark of six consecutive months of sustained revenue growth, meaning they started at month one, they grew. Month two, they grew more revenue. Again, three, four, bam, up to six, where they continued to increase their revenue every single month. The company expects this revenue growth trend to continue to achieve the 2022 revenue outlook of $44.8 million and drive a substantial positive net income from operations for the full year of 2022. Under-promising and over-delivering is what CYBL has always done best, and I suggest every company out there to under-promise and then over-deliver so you can shock the shareholders and give them what they don't expect. That's how you grow your company. This is CYBL Project Gyrodot. If you don't know what this is, it's a project they recently started and it's off to a fast start. This was a recent update we got from them. We received amazing content this week from the Havas Group or team in Colombia, we are excited to share our work on Project Gyrodot. This 20 megawatt, 31 hectare project is off to a fast start. And here is the aerial view of the solar layout. It's a massive, massive project, y'all. And you can go ahead and see they're giving us a few pictures of what this is looking like. And as we've discussed, we plan to supply the renewable energy generated to both third party Bitcoin mining and the electrical grid. And here is the overview of the facility. So they're going to be mining Bitcoin and they're doing a lot when it comes to solar. So I'm very excited to continue to see that project expand. And the, they obviously are going to be giving, giving us updates. You know how CYBR runs their Twitter. They give us updates on what they're doing. So shareholders are informed. And that's what we love to see. You don't want to overdo it, but if you're getting stuff done in your company, you do want to put those updates out to keep shareholders confident in what you're doing. Now, I'm very bullish on both JPEX and ILST. JPEX is one cent right now, up 18% on the day. We're getting this momentum back for these plays, and they're good, good, solid plays. It doesn't matter what happened with the share price previously. We're on, you know, we're moving on here. Not saying they're going to continue to fly every single day here, but I believe both of these are very great investments. Now, JPEX has a $17 million market cap, ILST at $12 million. I mean, they're pretty low for the companies that are coming in or could be coming in in terms of ILST. The price action with both of these has been wild, but I am bullish as ever before on both. They actually both started the day red. And if you were following me on Twitter at moonmarket underscore, you must follow that account. I highly suggest it. You would have known I added both today on that unnecessary red. It's live. You know, I do my live action here on Discord for the most part, but I do it on Twitter sometimes every now and then. You all know I sold JPEGs to protect capital after the disaster court situation. I sold it, y'all, and I told you that on Twitter. Today was the first day I re-entered. I re-entered today. And by the way, it was started the day down like five to 10 percent. I forget exactly what it was, but I got my price and it's an investment. Not saying if these rip, you should not take profits on the way up, but you should know that. So I got my I got my shares. I re-entered. I'm in this play and I'm happy about it. And it, it is up actually 30 percent from my entry point when it was that low. And I grabbed more ILST today, also at 0065. You can see February 10th, I grabbed them up and I'm very, very excited about these. They're both up and I got a great, great entry. I was, I was uh, averaging down a little bit on the fear. I buy when people are uncertain, but I know my personal facts. Now, you need to know that both of these are merger plays and the merger is being facilitated by the same companies, Opportunity Zone and Alpha Ridge. For a while, ILST and JPEX were shell companies. They had no current operations, but they no longer are because Vmost has merged into JPEX and an unknown metaverse crypto and NFT company has merged into ILST and ILST court is complete. So don't worry about the court. For ILST, it's complete. This company is actually merged in. We just don't know the company, but Opportunity Zone said ILST has OTCQX potential, which is the highest tier in the OTC. And you need a minimum of, of 25 cents per share to get on the OTCQX. So this whole process can take a long time because it has to get approved through the courts. But that long process is just about over. It was complete for ILST on December 24th. And listen, y'all, we're literally just waiting for ILST to roll out who this company is that is merging. They're merged and we just don't know who. And they said it's OTCQX potential. I'm very bullish on ILST, especially at this current market cap they're sitting at right now. 
end. These both of these JPEGs and ILST, they have shareholder protection clauses that Opportunity Zone placed on them before the new management moved in while they had control. So they can't dilute for two years. They can't do a reverse split. So you don't got to worry about that for at least two years. JPEX has another court update today and the order granting discharge was filed. OK, so JPEX are not just yet complete this process, but this is almost as if they are. It's pretty much done. Now, here's a whole catalyst list for JPEX. I mean, this one is an absolute banger, in my opinion. What I really want to see is the two acquisitions that will add close to 17 million in revenue on top of there's literally news throughout all of 2022 for JPEX. It's a cybersecurity company. It's a great company. You know, they have a cage code, which means they can supply government agencies. It's absolutely wild. Now, I'm very bullish on both of these. I'm very bullish on CYBL as well. Check out my video from from yesterday. But also, if you want more in-depth JPEX and ILST videos, check the description because I have a DD video for JPEX and a DD video for ILST that dives a little bit deeper into them. So I'm going to link them down below in the description. Just don't forget to before you leave, drop a quick like on this video and turn on the notification bell to get these stocks early. Join the private discord. If you need to buy or sell these stocks, interactive brokers in the top pinned comment. That's it for me. Peace.